Bye bye for now. Wait. That's all. I, okay. So, hello there. How are you? My name is Xian Wei. I'm an IT pharmacist at the National Cancer Center of Singapore. So many people think that pharmacists, what they do is just dispense medication to patients over the counter. However, the truth is, pharmacists do more than just that. So come along with me as I show you what I do on a daily basis. So over at NCCS, we use automation to help us pick our medication. So I was part of the team that helped to set up OPAS. We set it up from scratch and we went through many different types of solutions available. So back when I was in university, I was very interested in computers. I learned how to build it from scratch. So it was really rewarding being able to see how my interests allow me to contribute in my job as a pharmacist. Okay, so this is a part of the OPAS where we load drugs into the machine. So that's actually a robotic arm that it helps to suck the medication box and there are cameras oriented at different angles. It can then scan or identify what is the drug based on the barcodes. We can really just pour you know, up to hundreds, hundreds worth of medication and we can just leave it running as we work. So pharmacists also review and adjust the medications of patients. This is especially important at NCCS. Some chemotherapeutic agents may have many side effects. So one such side effect would be uh, lower blood counts, where it can cause uh, our patient's immune function to be uh, compromised. So what we would do is that we would actually help to monitor the patient's laboratory results. If we find that the blood test is a little bit too low, we may actually make recommendations to the doctor to either adjust the dose or to postpone uh, chemo, let's say for example, by about one week. And if we find, let's say, if the patient's dose is too high, if they are not able to tolerate the treatment, we will then make recommendations for the doctor to either reduce the dose or at least uh, take a short break for a while before reviewing with the doctor and do a potential change in treatment. When I was young, I was particularly fascinated by the sciences, especially chemistry, and I wanted to do something meaningful with my job. I also wanted something more dynamic, where I am not basically fixed in a single routine in a particular day. So uh, if you're interested in being a pharmacist, um, there are a few things that you first need. First one I would say is uh, the communication skills. You must be able to talk to patients, especially being able to communicate to them and then understanding what is the source of their trouble. So aside from good communication skills, you also need compassion and empathy. For example, our patients, when they go through treatment, it can seem very daunting and it can seem very lonely. So part of our job as healthcare professionals is that we have to be sensitive and aware of our patients' feelings and needs and that we need to understand or to remind them that they are not alone in their fight of cancer. So that's all I have to share for today. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye.